Hallo! Hi! How are you guys doing? Sorry for late. Sorry for late. Oh, forgot to apply my deodorant. Ah, there you go. Now I smell good. Hi! How are you guys doing on this lovely Friday evening? Uh, yes, it's a different arena! Thank you so much to Alice who designed this new arena. Look at how pretty it is. People complained about the old one. Yeah. Look, I have a throne now. I have a new throne now. It's pretty cool. Mm -mm. Too late, unsub. Good, Hanako. I'm glad to be rid of you. Centaur donated 10 bucks. Say, Manx, do you think the winners should get access to a secret shop for the grand tournament? The shop could have S-rank weapon stat boosters. That just sounds like hell to balance. Besides, I don't know if I'll be able to get in touch with all the winners, so this would be a very risky move. It's a nice suggestion, but I think we need to let the build stay. Like, people... What's interesting is to see the builds as they were in the arena. If they're allowed to change things around, it doesn't feel like them anymore. So, uh, yeah. Here are the here are the winners of the first four weeks. We have TC who won the first round. We have Nirvana who won the second round. Firelands who won the third round, and Sularkan who won the fourth round. And we have now started doing something new. Right here, we have the winners of the free for all. Shouldn't there be one more person here? Oh, Alice! Right, Alice is over here. Alice won one of the free for alls. That's true. We have Nero, Arina. Wolum and Bobby. So these these are the winners of the free for all. And uh, once we have enough, we're gonna have a grind, giant free for all between all the free for all winners, and the winner will get to go to the grand melee. This is a, kind of another chance to go to the finals. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people want to see the contestants, so I say we just show off the contestants, shall we? Are you guys ready? We have 16 cringy more OC inserts today. They've come to die in the arena. First out today is <laughs> the Summoner Pit Daddy. Uh, he comes with two Fenris and a Hoplon Guard. And he has his pet, Snookums, uh, the dog, apparently. That's a very cute portrait. Then we have a monster class. Yes, we've introduced monster classes now. We have Shrieker the Gorgon. Uh, she comes with two Nosferatu tomes. Ooh, a Nostank Gorgon, let's go. Then we have Kesa, real cat girl right here. Hyper recruit with a brave lance. Ooh, this looks like a this looks like an aggressive build. Look at this. Oh boy. We have Sev, the honorable paladin, a returning unit from the Pick My Unit series. Uh, we have uh, Patricius the Dreadfighter, loving that Gaiden uh, mercenary portrait, that's really cool. He comes with a Thunder Tome and a Brave Sword. We have Carla, who's now a Berserker apparently, I guess she was like, screw this, I'm gonna be like my husband. She has a Brave Axe and a Steel Axe. Shirtless Carla, let's go. And then we have, I don't even, uh, eh, 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 or E? E? I don't know what this- what is this name? Who names their characters this? Is, is Was this name in, in, inserted properly? Oh, three. Her name is just three. Oh, okay. Three. Okay, her name is just three. Oh, 31 health, miracle and rune sword. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to make a build like this. Oh, this is so cheesy. Tres, tres. Delphine, the war cleric. Comes with an aura tone and a hoplon guard. We have Cecily, the great lord. Ooh, I spy Astro right there. And a brave axe. Okay, very nice, very nice. I Don't we have female great lord animations in the ROM, uh, Alice? This seems like the male ones for me. Maybe she has the female great lord animations. We'll see. 
And we have Boulder the Cyclops. 75 HP, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, he comes with a Brave Axe. We have Shanty Pete the Swordmaster. My goodness, that's the most badass portrait I have ever seen in my life. My goodness, he comes with the Brave Sword. Oh boy, zero defense. 30 luck. We have Matthias the Mage Knight. Uh, comes with Rune Sword and a Fimble Letter. Ooh, interesting, another Rune Sword build. We got Romina the Female Mulduin. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Female Mulduin. Centaur class, basically. We have these in Andron Saga as well. Ooh, she has a bargain build. That's cool. We're gonna look more at their skills when they actually get match up with each other. We have Frey, the Swordmaster. Why she wanted to come with the Divine, I don't know. She just did. So, wait, we have two Swordmasters in this arena? Oh, I guess we do. Oh boy, I didn't even realize. That was a bit of a mistake. We have uh, Nicole, uh, the Sniper. And negative uh, the baron yeah that's right that's right ladies and gentlemen barons are in the arena now barons are in the arena now now there was supposed to be a hyper pupil in this batch but i messed up and picked 17 gladiators so to the hyper pupil if you're very disappointed right now know that you have been placed in the next bracket i'm really sorry uh i i i, I sent off the gladiators to, uh, to Alice and Hanako, and I, I was informed that I had picked 17, not 16. So we just picked one at random. It was the Hyper Pupil. But know that you will be in the next week's batch. You have been inserted into next week. So my apologies if you were like super excited to see your character. I'm sorry. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have 16 characters here. They're all waiting. We have some spectators. Hey, Creative has joined the spectator stand. That's cool. Making some timestamps. That's good. That's very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. First thing we got to go do is we got to go randomize the brackets. And let's see who gets matched up with who, shall we? Shuffle the seats. There we go. And then we gotta go and I think we gotta go to the bracket and actually like start the tournament. Yeah, start the tournament. There we go. Alright, so round one. Ladies and gentlemen, consists of Dress versus Carla. Oop. Dress versus Carla. Nicole versus Delphine. Negative versus Shanty P. Sorry, I'll read donations soon. Sev versus Cecily, Patricius versus Pit Daddy, Romina versus Kesa, Matthias versus Boulder, Frey versus Shrieker. All right, let me start the poll and then I'm gonna go and read some donations. Sorry about that, I'm a little busy starting off the stream here. So the first match is uh, Dress versus Carla. I'm just gonna call her Dress. Or Dress, I don't know what's correct here. Alright, Eva Diki donated five bucks to Super Chat. Hey, Mangs, what has most inspired you in making Andron Saga? Books, real life experiences, etc. Number one, Fire Emblem 4 Genealogy of the Holy War. Two, uh, Song of Ice and Fire, the, the book, not the shitty series. Uh, that's, that's a lie. Game of Thrones was pretty epic for the first four seasons, but it turned very bad after a while. So, like the first few books of Song of Ice and Fire, Fire Emblem 4 Genealogy of the Holy War, Lord of the Rings, um,. Driss do Erden, like the Dark Elf trilogy from R.A. Salvatore. But yeah, pretty much. It's it's FE4. FE6 is also fair. Yeah, FE6 is also fair. Starcraft? PH, fuck off. So, uh, PH, stop spamming. You're a mod. <laughs> I can't ban you. Well, I, I guess I could. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. So it's um Teres versus Carla. We got we got a uh, we got an assassin versus a 
Is it an assassin versus a... Yeah, it's an assassin versus a berserker. Ooh. An assassin versus a berserker. All right. Pretty sure the assassin is, is faster, but let's just double check. 22. 22 versus... Uh, 22 versus 18. Yeah, the assassin is definitely faster. Dun, uh, na, 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 na. All right. Alice wants you to look at the champion's inventories. Okay. Why? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. That's very cute. I like that. Uh, that's that's cute. That's cute. Arena metal. Uh, I like that. Like that. That's a cute little addition. If it, oh, that's cute. Free for all metal. That's that's even. Oh, that's adorable. I like little details like this. <laughs> oh, dev batch. Bragging rights. Oh, that's adorable. That's adorable. That's a nice addition, Alice. Well, well, well done. Well done. Rogue's gonna steal them. Uh, yeah, we have to take them out before the actual fight. Random Williams donated 499 to Super Chat. Their new arena looks great. Mod Alice. Alice deserves it. I don't need more mods at this time, but Alice will be up for consideration if I need a new mod. Satoru donated Canadian bucks through 10 Canadian bucks through Super Chat. Hey Mangs, do you think the winner should get access to a C? Oh, I already read that. And then we got Mythily Toriel subscribed. Thank you. Hi Twitch Gang. I haven't forgotten about you. Hi Twitch Gang. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the gladiator, shall we? Dress, the assassin. So this is a really, really cheesy build, but he does lose the bright weapons. So we got Miracle, Lethality, Thunderstorm, Kestrel Stance, Night Aspirant, and Odd Rhythm. So that's odd number turns, so that would be number two, right? Ah, Dress Aka 3, aka 3, an assassin of the Holy Knights, quiet and reserved, but loves to drink. So yeah, the whole point of this build is to drink the Vulnerary to be... I think the Vulnerary will knock her exactly above half health. So the idea is she will... Ret she If she gets knocked to one health, she'll drink the Vulnerary, retaliate with the Rune Sword. That's the idea. Oh, 2, 4, 6, yeah, yeah. So the only thing that's a little bit scary is that it can break. I don't know if there's any corrosion builds in the arena, but this this could be scary, depending. However, she's up against Carla, an imposing woman with a chivalrous heart, a little too barbaric. She has a brave axe, but the question is, will she be able to hit with it? Thunderstorm, crit boost, resolve, spectrum stance, Luna, and chivalry. Okay. Okay. That's... It depends on whether or not Carla, like, kills in two hits. It depends. And Liquidus too is a concern. That is very, very true. That is a very, very true. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start the first round of the arena. Let's begin. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, look at those assassin animations, though. They're badass. Dress starts off with the rune sword hit. And in comes Carl. Oh, <laughs> the sound effect! That's so good. Oh, hits the 20. Did you hear that? She went raw. That's so good. Oh, this is bad. But now Resolve is proccing. Now Resolve is proccing. That's so good. That's so fucking good. 37% chance to hit? Ooh, that's bad. Let's see if Carla can... Carla probably, like, deals so much damage now with 50% extra strength. Oh, misses the first one. Prox Luna, but Miracle Prox. And Dress wins the first round, ladies and gentlemen. Dress wins the first round. These are two really interesting builds going head to head. I, I really like them. All right, let's get ready for round two. All 
All right, once again, dress charges in. I can be here all day, she says. Pops off a rune sword. Hits Carla. Let's see if Carla can hit her back. She's gonna have a 20% chance to hit in the first round of combat. <laughs> Does not hit either of her attacks. Dress fires back with the rune sword. And now she'll double, so Carla needs to pretty much hit both hits here with the next Brave Axe with Resolves. This is a tough matchup. Yeah, I, I did speed up, I did speed up. Ooh, this is bad. 37% chance to hit? It fails? It fails? Carla comes charging in. Hits the first! Hits the second! It's 1-1, one, one, ladies and gentlemen. These builds are very evenly matched. Either one could take these two. These builds are fantastic. I love both of them. I love both of them. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Who will take the final match? Let's see what you guys voted. 63% voted for this. Okay. Alright, I'd say this is probably like a 50-50. This is a 50-50. Like, it, it really depends on whether or not Carla gets a few dodges off. By the way, I'm loving, I'm loving that female assassin animation. It's so cool. Alright, let's go. Okay, Carla gets brought down to three. Now she just needs to dodge a single 20, which should be pretty easy. It should be pretty easy. Sorry, a 37. Ah, uh, she dodges it. Okay, now it just depends. Can she land 250s? It's a coin flip. It's a coin flip, ladies and gentlemen. Can she land 250s? Little bit low. She pops Luna. Will she do it again? Yes! <laughs> Carla actually takes the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Dame! Holy shit! I did not expect her to take that. I did not expect her to take that. That was very, very unexpected. Alright, well, congratulations to Carla. You go on to round two, where you will face the winner between Nicole and Delphine. There we go. Nicole versus Delphine. Let's take a look. Okay, let me, I think I, f I forgot to put these guys back where they belong. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong one. You're supposed to be here. And you are supposed to be... Where are you supposed to be? Up here, I think? Yeah, there we go. Nicole versus Delphine. No, wait. Uh, no, 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 no. You're supposed to be here. There you go, that's better. Yeah, it glitches when I move units around. Uh, let's see. Nicole is... Uh, Where's Nicole? That's the sniper, I think. Yeah, Nicole. So she has 18 speed versus Delphine, who has 17. So the sniper goes first. Check, check Boulder HP. 75. 75, yeah. So we got a War Monk versus a Sniper, ladies and gentlemen. This could be interesting. It should be 80. Really? Uh, I think you... So here's the thing. We actually did balance... I think we, ner we nerfed the Cyclops HP a little bit, but I don't think it made its way into the document. So 75 is actually correct. Because they have like it says they had they have 35 base HP. They're supposed to have 30. So it's not that the, it's not that your boon is wrong. It's that we 
took 5 HP away from the Cyclops because it was a little too too broken. Uh, so it's just, I'm sorry, I think we forgot to update the documents. But I remember we had a talk about this. It was like, yeah, Cyclops HP is a bit too high. I was like, okay, let's just put it down a little bit. Sorry about that. I don't know if they're good. Let's find out. I know he has HP boons. I know. But it's 75. It, it, may, it actually is right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Norian guy donated two chefs. Hey, Egg, how was your week? It's good. I've been working on Undead Saga pretty much all week. Wake up. Um, uh, Adam B donated five bucks. Delphine doesn't have the portrait I sent. Anyway, your content managed to have a time off. Oh, really? Really? Is this not the Delphine portrait? Let me let me check my inbox real quick. Because I checked my mail before stream and I, I, I downloaded all the portraits, so... Uh, I don't see any portraits in my inbox here. Yep. Nope. No portraits in my inbox. So, you might want to resend that, but... We're doing this for now. Anyway, let's take a look at these builds, shall we? So in the red trunks we have uh, Nicole the sniper. No one knows who she is. She gave no description. <laughs> she has critical force, sure shot, certain blow, um, anathema, and critical blow. Now, I have been told that certain blow apparently only gives 30 hits. So I'm gonna go check that right now. Let's see. Certain... Certain blow. I don't know if it's true, but some people reported that it didn't give enough hits. So, uh, let me just, uh, let me just double check. Do, 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 do. You are absolutely right. I fixed that now. It's 40. There we go. I got a mail before the stream, and they were like, "Yo, Mangs, check, 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 certain blow." But it's fixed now, so now it actually gives the full forty percent. There you go. So that should uh, that should help a little bit. A certain blow. Yeah, too bad, Nirvana. Am I right? All right, so she has critical force, sure shot, certain blow, anathema, and critical blow. So, uh, ooh, it's an aggressive build right here in a Brabo. Oh, you shouldn't have put that vulnerary on, dude. You're gonna you're gonna drink instead of going for the kill. Twenty five skill, interesting. All right. Then we have Delphine, the priestess, lord, and lighthouse keeper of her coastal hometown. Loves seafood and tropical fruit. We have another wary fighter build, ladies and gentlemen. Soul, Stout Shield, Holy Aura, Thunderstorm, and Tower Shield. We got an Ultra Tank versus an Ultra DPS here, ladies and gentlemen. Will Nicole be able to damage her way through Delphine's thick armor? She won't be able to quad, but she will double thanks to the Brave Bow. Oh, she has a Hoplon Guard? Yeah, the sniper's fucked, I guess. The sniper's absolutely fucked. Lebediki donated two bucks to Super Jab. Maybe the cooler War Cleric will be in next week. Could be, could be. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go! You do, creative. All right. Nicole charges in with her bow. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. But, never say never. Delphine fires back for 23 damage. My god, look at that female war monk. I <laughs> bet Seagull's more intimidating than you. Okay, alright. Fires with an aura, dealing 23 damage. I think if, uh, if Nicole gets uh, two sure shots, she might win. Oh, this is not good. This is what I was talking. What? Wait. Oh, that's exact damage, isn't it? That's exact damage, isn't it? Yeah, that's exact damage. 
Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Literally on the number. Exactly on the number. All right, well, that was unfortunate. But let's see if uh, Nicole can take the second round. Let me just make sure that I change the RNG. Why does it keep going for creative? Is it just... Okay, there we go. All right, Nicole charges in once again. Let's see if she can do it. This was a very unfortunate opponent for her. Another sure shot. Delphine fires back with an aura. Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, is it? Because Nicole's just—it's gonna be the same outcome. Yeah, this is not great. And then Nicole's gonna run away, drink a bonary, and that is just like such an unfortunate matchup. No need to reset for RNG. Yeah, the only thing that can change is, is like, uh, is like Nicole getting crit, which isn't going to exactly help her. Yeah, this is a win for Team Green, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunate matchup for Nicole here. It's pretty much the worst enemy she could have gone up against. But hey, man, that's how the arena works. That is how the arena works. That is how the arena works, ladies and gentlemen. No sense in crying about it. That's just how it be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, second match of the evening is done. Thank you, Alice, by the way, for these lovely events and everything. You made the arena very pretty. And uh, it was Nicole who goes on to the second round to face Carla. Up next, we got Negative versus Shanty Pita. So this is a Baron versus a Swordmaster, I think. That should be interesting. Oh, sorry, Delphine won. Delphine. <laughs> sorry, Delphine won. I fixed it, I fixed it. There you go, Carla, Delphine. It's okay, guys. Sorry, I forgot. There you go, Delphine won, Delphine won, Delphine won. Look, 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 look. All right, so what do we have here? We have negative 20 speed, and it's a Baron? What? Damn. But he's up against 25 speed now, so the Swordmaster still goes first. Damn, though, a fast Baron right here. Won't really matter all that much, I, I, I think, against this opponent. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, in the red trunks, we got Shanty Pete the Swordmaster. Scally Swag of the Sea, out boomered by Shanty Tits. Creator asked for meme portrait. <laughs> we have a Swordmaster with Recklessness, Crit Boost, Sword Fair, and Quick Burn. So just a, not really a crit build, per se, as much as just a straight out massive damage build. Quick Burn is an interesting skill, actually. I, I think that's a good one. And a brave sword, so wow, look at that. 34 damage. This guy hits hard. But he is up against a freaking baron in negative. Creative's cousin. <laughs> it's cat girls. Oh, it's a oh, maybe he'll go up. Oh, what if he goes up against the cat girl? What if he literally goes up against the cat girl? That'd be so funny. And what does negative have? Yes, he, he has recklessness too. Aegis won't really matter here. He has insight, fortress defense, and ready stance. He comes with a toxin lance, an Elfire, Fimblevitter, and an elixir. Okay. I think the Baron has the edge in this matchup. Just because he is a freaking Baron. So, ladies and gentlemen, I say. We get started. Let me just read this donation first. What is an Auburn donated five bucks for Super Chat? Missed like half an hour because I was scripting a custom battle on him. Seemed like I joined just in time to watch a curb stone. Also, nice new arena. Yeah, Alice made it. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin! Why does it keep going to creative? I, I, I want to just make sure, make sure that I... That's weird. Why does it keep going to creative? Oh, there we go. I just wanted to make sure I got new numbers. Upload, get down, like your fake tension, never punished, call an ambulance. <laughs> Ooh. Oh! Shantikeet gets a crit, but negative just takes it. Ooh, look at that, though. He poisons Shantipeet. Shantipeet does not quad. And negative pops this elixir immediately. That's gonna be a tough matchup for, for Shantipeet, I think. Shantipeet is now poisoned. He charges back in against negative. Kits him for 9 damage. Pops up another crit for 28 damage. 27, actually. Oh, never mind. Manx Matt. Negative fires back, though, with the Toxin Lance. Or, oh, sorry, negative fires back. And... You picked the wrong gladiator to fight, fool. 55% hit, though. Oh, he hits with the Fimblemeter! Lane taint rigged, Ripley not checked by her rhythm skill issue. <laughs> Such a, oh my good, I love that. I love this unit. <laughs> All right, round two. What? Does it have a bigger chance to go to creative or something? The reason why I'm scared is I want the RNG to be different. I don't know why it always go. To, why does it always go to creative? Are you guys ready? Get get hype. All right, round two. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, right. Okay, so we get another crit. Negative pops an elixir. So, so far, we're, it, it works pretty similarly. Shantipede is poisoned. Will he get another crit? He hits. He does not get the crit, ladies and gentlemen. Negative fires back. Negative fires back. Will negative be able to hit with Fimblevator now? And he does! Ah, oh, he hits both! Baron Chads, stay winning. Baron Chads, stay winning, ladies and gentlemen. So it was a 56% uh, of chat voted for negative. So you can say the favorite one. All right, GG's Shanty Pete's. You are knocked out. Negative goes on to round two where he will face the winner between Seth and Cecily. That's a paladin, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember who Cecil is. Let's go take a look. So, Sev is the paladin, who is here with, oh my goodness, 26 speed? No, wait, uh, not 26, 25 speed? 26 speed, yeah, 26 speed. And he's up against Cecily, who is a great lord with 10 speed. So, Sev goes first. Alright, let's take a look at these builds, shall we? Seb is a paladin on Wings of Hope. More like Wings of Cope, am I right? 
He has Certain Blow, he has Chivalry, he has Knight Aspirant, he has Recklessness, he has Darting Blow. And Fury, can't forget about Fury. So he's not reliant on proc builds, it's just pure damage. Comes with a Brave Sword, hits for 37, that's pretty insane. So, uh, he will murder anything that's not a Wary Fighter build, I think. He's up against Cecily, a light promoter who lifted a lot of weights for this. 25 luck, we got Astra, Rightful Lord, Wary Fighter, Corrosion! Oh, this is bad! Seven only has a single Brave Sword. An Axe Fate, let's go. And a Brave Axe. It's a Brave Sword versus a Brave Axe, ladies and gentlemen. That should go in save Seth's favor. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who wins the first round. Let us go. I guess creative just likes to talk a lot. Oh, look at that animation. Look at that animation. It's gorgeous. Oh, Savas hitting hard though. Ah, oh, that brave, that brave axe man. Oh, this is a rough matchup. It's a rough matchup. That weapon triangle just really coming in hard. Nice build, Boso. David sent us his regards. Oh, she hits one, but it's not enough. She's gonna, she's not gonna be able to take this. Yeah, unfortunate. But I'm the crowd favorite. You probably are. Okay. So the, the the weapon triangle kind of decided this one. Let's get ready to rumble. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe maybe uh maybe maybe Cecily will be able to hit at least one of her counter attacks this time around. My goodness, Sev deals a lot of damage. Okay, she hits one. Oh, she misses, but I, I can she win now? I, sh I think she deals more damage on player face, right? She could Astra too, that's a good point. She could Astra. Oh, I think she can, I think she can. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, let's go! Here we go, one. Two. Three! Four! She takes seven back. She takes seven down, ladies and gentlemen. Astra actually works. It's 1 1, ladies and gentlemen. Sev has 50% of the votes. Oh, one of them did, Firelands. One of them did. Alright, here we go again. So it's it's reliant on whether or not Cecily hits at least she needs to hit one of her counters. And then she has a decent chance of winning. Oh! Oh she fires back with Astra, but this time around uh, this time around, she only deals nine damage. Oh, the third Astra is a miss. The fourth Astra is a hit. The fifth Astra is a hit. And here comes the br second break. Oh! She might win this! She might win this! I think she has this, ladies and gentlemen. I think she has this. Oh, she misses the first! Oh, she procs Corrosion <laughs> and wins! Corrosion never ends up being good, guys. Cecily wins! Uh. Cecily wins, ladies and gentlemen. That was an exciting battle, actually. I thought Seb was gonna win that for sure. But Cecily just took it back and procced some Astras. Seb gets knocked out. Cecily goes on to round two where she fights Negative. Frey stats are wrong. She has 11 con and one defense, okay? And critical blow, not quick draw. Well, we can fix that. Let's see, Frey. Uh, Frey stats are wrong, she has 11 con and 1 defense, okay?
There we go, it's fixed. And she has critical blow, not quick draw. Okay. There we go, it's fixed. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me just go double check. Yep, there we go, it's fixed. All right, so now up next we have Patricius versus Pit Daddy. Okay, Patricius versus Pit Daddy. I think Pit Daddy is the summoner. Yeah, Pit Daddy is the summoner with nine <laughs> speed. What are these stats? Two Fenrirs. Pit Daddy and Patricius is... Uh, Patricius is a dread fighter. Ooh, this is not looking good. 16 speed versus nine. Okay. All right. And Patricius does have Snowcombs, though, the dog. Who knows? Maybe Snowcombs can help out here. We'll see. All right, so in the Red Trucks, we have Patricius, the Pit Fighter, the Pit Fighter, the Dread Fighter, and an, an experienced wonder with a flair for the dramatic. Uh, he has certain blows, seal magic, hero, fierce stance, ether. Okay, we got an Aether build right here. He has a Thunder Tome and a Brave Sword, so he, ha he can hit on both Physical and Resistance, which is honestly very smart. He's up against Pit Daddy, fighting for all the good pities everywhere. His white, white wife loves their dog very much. Uh, he has Anathema, Summon, Certain Blow, Frenzy, Heavy Strikes, and Thunderstorm. And his dog, Snowcombs, has It's Okay, He Doesn't Bite. Yeah, said every Pitbull owner ever. He has Knight Aspirant, so uh, will he be able to take a round of combat? I don't know, he has 15 speed, so he... Oh my god, actually? He might survive a hit from the Dreadfighter unless he uses his Brave Sword. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Let me reset the scores. And let's go! You do. All right. Will my tail triumph over yours? Okay, he does take out Snowcombs in one hit using the Brave, but this means he won't be able to retaliate. So this means that uh, this means that Pit Daddy will get a hit off. Why? Okay, I thought he attacked in melee. I was like, what the hell? Die, you incel! Ooh, 39 crit. Damn. He deals 25 damage to the Dreadfighter. Oh, right. Sorry. Forgot to put on actual fighting music. Okay. First Brave Sword hit. Oh, he procs Aether! He procs Aether! Oh! Pit Daddy fires back. I think he's gonna get quadded, right? Yeah, he gets quadded. My wife's boyfriend will avenge me! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, oh, that was a different gladiator. Oh, no, it's creative again. Oh, there we go. There we go. When will you add the mana kit class, you egg? I don't know. Alright, here we go. Patricius charges in. Takes out Snowcombs. But that's fine. 
Okay, will Pip Daddy get a crit? He has a lot of crit rate. He has a lot of crit chance. Die, you incel. Oh, there's the crits! There's the crit, ladies and gentlemen! 39% Fenrir crit. Let's go! Mmm, that's a kill. <laughs> Let's go! Pit Daddy takes the second round. Taking the fight to 1 2 1. Next winner is gonna take it. Third round begins. As always, Patricius is not fond of dogs. It really does come down to the crate. Yeah, that's exactly what it does. All right, will he be able to crit again? Will he be able to crit again? No crit. No crit, ladies and gentlemen. So Patricius has a good, good chance to win this now. Okay. Patricius coming in. Will he proc an ether? No ether. Pit Daddy has a chance to crit. No crit. But Patricius does not kill without an ether proc. No ether proc. Is he gonna proc it? Oh, he procs it! He procs it, ladies and gentlemen. He procs it. Patricius takes the round, ladies and gentlemen. Very impressive. Very impressive. Nice to see some ether builds in the arena. It's a very underused skill, I feel. All right. Pit Daddy goes down. Patricius goes on to round two. Where he will face the winner between Rom Romina and Kels Kaisa. 52% voted for Patricius. Alright, so next up is Romina versus Kesa. Kesa was from the PMU, I think. Pretty sure that was a playable character, wasn't it? <laughs> Get poison jumps. Alright. Let me just reset to make sure all the changes stick. Yeah, from the Fire Emblem 7 CMU. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so Kesa versus Romina. So Kesa has 27 speed. My goodness, that's a fast one. And she is up against a Malduin, but not as fast as her. So let's send the cat girl into the arena. Nya, nya, nya. And she's up against Romina the Mulduin. Okay, interesting. Let's take a look at these two, shall we? Monster Girl battle, kinda. Kesa, return Cat Girl here to avenge Potterino. Uh, she's a hyper recruit with 27 speed, my goodness. She has Certain Blow, Crit Boost, Recklessness, Fury, Arcane Blade, and Critical Blow. Okay. And a Brave Lens. So, hyper aggressive uh, hyper recruit build. And she's up against Romina, not a, not enough bargain user with mixed builds. She has Bargain, Warding Blow, Certain Blow, Liquidoose, Fury, and Spectrum Stance. And she comes with an Aura, Brave Sword, and two Elixirs. Two Elixirs! Okay. Okay, nice that she has the Aura equipped initially. That's actually a good idea. That's actually a good idea. And she has the Con to wield it. 16 Con on these girls, my goodness. All right, she's massive. All right, bargain build, let's go. Let's all dance away to Nirvana, everyone, let's go. All right. Oh. Oh, oh my good, oh! Oh, it's not a kill. Never mind. Oh my good. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh! Oh! Oh, that was- that was brutal! Holy shit, that was brutal! Oh my god! That was hard to watch! Holy shit, she just fucking annihilated her! No, I'm tired of creative. I wanna hear other quotes. Oh my goodness. Does she just... Does she even need a crit? No, yeah, she... She needs a crit, but... Oh, she didn't get the crit this time around, though. Is that a crit? I think that's a crit! Oh, what?! 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 How?! That was a crit! That was a really lucky crit. Holy shit! That shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. Let's go, okay. Let's see if she can pull off a miracle again. Let's see if she can pull off a miracle. Oh, that's one hit! And a set. Oh my god, again? No crit this time, though, from Romina. Oh, she's gonna get quadded for sure. No? No quad? Oh, can Romina maybe do something? We'll see. She's gonna elixir now. She runs away. Pops the elixir. Is... 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 Is Kesa in range to attack? I think she is. She is, okay. All right, here we go again. Oh, there comes the crit. I think she's fucked. Yeah, she's fucked. She's fucked. And the second crit just for good measure. Oh my goodness, what a devastating build. You didn't get quartered. You didn't need to. Cat girls reign. Supreme, ladies and gentlemen, all cat girls and joyers in chat, you must feel very validated right now. Romina goes down. Kesa goes on to round two, where she will fight the winner. Where she will fight Patricius. Pat Patricius, yeah, that's his name. My goodness. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. 65% of you voted for Kesa, so the crowd favorite one. Up next is Matthias versus Boulder. Matthias versus Boulder. We got a Cyclop with 10 speed, and Matthias is. Where's Matthias? We got a Mage Knight with 17 speed, so he goes first. He's up against a monstrous foe. So here we got Matthias, the eldest son of a Count Tapish, here to prove his superiority in the arena. Another Aether build, let's go. Aether, Arcane Blade, Hero, and Kestrel Stance. Okay, that works. Rune Sword and Fimblevator, let's go. Fim Rune Sword and Fimblevator. He's up against Boulder, a usually docile Cyclop that wandered into the arena. 30 luck! Oh, we got an Axe Faith build. We got an Axe Faith build. Wrath, Warding Blow, Wary Fighter, Frenzy, and Thunderstorm. Ooh. Okay, I like the friend. The Wary the worry Fighter could be scary. A Lucky Cyclops versus a Rune Sword Mage Knight. I don't know who's gonna take this. All right. Let's go. Round one, fights! All right. Pull before the might of House Depecious Magic. Matthias fires off a Fimblevator. He's not gonna double, I think, because Boulder has Wary Fighter. Boulder. Fires back. Why you hurt me? 25 damage times 2. He has warning blow. That's really good, actually. Ooh, okay. Only deals 5 damage on the counter attack. If he can get the ether, though. If he can get the ether, that's really good. 
Here we go. No ether though. Why isn't he using his rune sword? Why isn't he using his rune sword? Oh no. Oh, he's dead. But he, uh, yeah. My goodness, he just got murdered. There is something I need to check real quick before we continue. I need to check the AI of these gladiators. Did you give them the smart AI? Uh, let's see, Matthias. Yeah, okay, he does have the smart AI. He prioritized damage first and then accuracy. Okay, so apparently the AI just doesn't give a shit about healing itself, apparently. And he, has, he is in recovery. Okay, all right. Nothing wrong with this AI, he's just dumb, I guess. It doesn't know Rune Sword recovers. It should. All right, let's go. You do need to timestamp this. Oh, before the might of House Tapetius Magic. Let's go. No, uh, no ether yet. No ether yet. If he gets an ether, that's huge. Our boulder comes back in. 2% chance to crit. That could end things. Matthias fires back with a Fimble later. Still not enough. Come on, man. You One ether will probably do the job, I think. One ether will do the job, I think. Come on. Oh, he procs it! He procs it, ladies and gentlemen. He procs it. Oh, he heals himself, and then comes the next attack. Bring oh, he misses! He misses! Oh, no! He misses the ether! Oh, no! Oh, he goes down! He goes down! Oh, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen. That is unfortunate. Boulder goes on to round two. Where he will face the winner between Frey and Shrieker. 81% of the crowd voted for Boulder, actually. Alright, so we got Frey up here with 28 speed versus Shrieker with 16 speed. So that means Frey goes first. Mm -hmm. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh, it's the wrong Swordmaster, sorry. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, wait, no, that's still the wrong Swordmaster, oh my goodness. Okay, fuck it, I'll just do it again. Where's Frey? There's Frey! Versus Shurika! Alright, so, in the Red Trunks we got Frey the Swordmaster. Always in for a gamble. Another very aggressive Swordmaster build. Critical Blow, Crit Boost, Chivalry, Recklessness, Fury, and Certain Blow. And she comes with a Brave Sword and a Divine for some reason. She's up against Shrieker, one of the Demon King's spawn. Kill it with fire, a Nos build. She has Bargain, Seal Speed, Devil's Luck, Devil's Whim, Expertise, and Tome Breaker. Okay. 
I believe we buffed the breaker skills to 30%. The description is wrong. My bad, it's 30%. Won't really help. <laughs> it would have been funny if she had the Divine equipped in the one slot. The Tomb Breaker would have actually helped. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Swordmaster versus Gorgon. 56% is saying Shrieker will win. Who will win? I am actually not sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go! Let's get ready to rumble! Gambling. The sure way of getting something for not- Oh, look at those animations! So edgy. What the- Oh, 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 oh! Oh! Fucking murdered! Murdered! Oh my goodness! Wow. She diced herself some Gorgon salad. Oh my goodness. She just got fucking murdered. Huh? Shouldn't expertise be 1.5% damage? What? No, expertise reduces bonus damage from critical hits by 50%. It means you take double damage instead of triple damage, basically. Yeah, she the crit worked, but it just didn't matter. Alright, here we go. Round two. If she just doesn't get crit... Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, it's a crit! Oh, you can see it does work. Oh! Oh! She backfired! <laughs> oh, she backfired! Here we go, and she misses her Nosferatu though, oh, again, oh my goodness, oh, she takes her down, that's a, that's a shame, that's a shame. Backfire crit, actually expertise saved, expertise saved her life. Uh, if the document says that, then the document is wrong, my bad. Wow. Expert if she didn't have expertise, she would have won. Because she would have backfired the full of crit damage. That's actually pretty sad, isn't it? When you think about it. That's actually really that's actually really sad when you think about it. Oh no 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 no. Not yet. We can do this one again. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Expertise is stupid on double reversal builds. I agree. You should try and reflect the full damage. All right. So, we are now in round two, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of really cool builds today. Carla, Delphine is going to face each other in round two. Then it's going to be Negative versus Cecily. Patricius versus Kesa. And Boulder versus Frey. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Are you guys ready for some memes? Of course you are. Of course you are. Da, na, 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 na. Getting the May Mace. Oh god. So many May Mace. Oh, we got some fan art from Nint. Amazing. Da -da -da. All right. Okay, let's go look at some Mei, Mei shall we? I think I forgot something. If you forgot that it wasn't important, yeah, you're right. That poor pupil. Ah, he'll be here next week. He'll be here next week. Mang's on the Saga routine. Wake up, take a shit, get out of bed. Clock's too busy shit posting instead of writing the script. Turn the mood too busy shit posting instead of beta testing. Sleep, repeat. Yep, yep. This is this is very accurate. Now, actually, Clock has been a real champ this month. Clock. Uh, I will admit, 
Clock can be very lazy, and it's very, very annoying when I set deadlines he doesn't reach, but Clock, like any other, any other normal human being, gets significantly more productive when a deadline is approaching. So he's actually been very productive this month. Oh, look at this AI art right here. Check Discord. Okay, Alice. Uh, someone made an anime intro for FE7. It's, a, it's not copyrighted music. I've seen this, I think. But I can check it out again. 737. I hope you're right about okay, 737. I think I've seen this, but we can we can watch it again. It's really well made. All right, we got more uh, AI art. <laughs> oh my god, that Cyclops is some stuff of nightmare. Holy shit! I really appreciate you grouping the pictures together like this. By the way. This is, makes it so much easier for me to go through them. Man, look at that. Look at creative. Holy... Or negative. Wow. And we got some fan art from Ned. We got Nirvana. Wow, Ned. This one's amazing. Look at that. Oh, I appreciate human-made art so much more than AI art. Look at that. The unhittable. What was wrong with Fire Emblem? Had one entry this year, has now completely faded into security. What went so wrong with Fire Emblem? Awakening. Can you stop Doom posting for five fucking minutes? Also, the first post will already ask you a question. The moment it went from permanent strategy to waifu pandering, dating garbage, a lot of people decided not to touch it again. No. No. Uh, I don't, I don't agree. I think you can have a good Fire Emblem with waifus. The waifu... The reason why modern Fire Emblem feels a little bit hollow is because... Uh, because map design is really bad, and because they're focusing on a bunch of shit that isn't Fire Emblem, like a bunch of mini games and shit like that. What? You can still have waifus in marriage. FE4 has waifus in marriage, and it's still a good game. Soul, soulless, true soul, four soul, no soul, artificial soul, alt soul, anti soul, soul soup. Better call soul! <laughs> Nintendo has forgotten about Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no, he drank that elixir. <laughs> Us watching path pathetic units die in the arena for our entertainments. Weaklings die, big deal. <laughs> when most winners have hyper offensive builds, this is turned into a difficult situation. I don't I don't actually know about that. Two of the champions are aggressive builds, two of the cha oh, two of the other champions are defensive builds. Not heal and die, heal and die harder. Elixir users. <laughs> that psycho, the normal gladiator, that psycho with the devil build. <laughs> oh, Shinon. Chat, surely Egg will be on time today. Egg, you fool, fell victim to one of my classic blunders. <laughs> uh. <laughs> my throne! Oh, my beautiful throne. It would be better if Ada was between Deidre and Arvis. Okay, sh you want, why not? Sure. What? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's time to start the first fight of round two. Carla versus Delphine. Berserker versus Warmonk. Okay. This could be interesting. Alright, so we got Carla the Berserker. Who has 18 speed. Versus Delphine who has 17 speed. Well, that's convenient.
Oh, right, we're gonna watch the video. I forgot about that. Okay, let me, let me go. Let me... Because this is an FE7 anime intro. I think I've seen it, but it's really good, so I don't mind seeing it again. And apparently it does not have copyrighted music, so... Hopefully you're right about this, otherwise I will never forgive you. Alright, let's watch it. It's really good. If, if this is the video I think it is, it's incredibly well made. I'm gonna make sure to shout out the creator, it's uh... Okay. No, it's not 17 minutes long. The video is 17. This is like 3 minutes, I think. They look a little weird, but I still appreciate the effort that went into this. Ah, oh, Sarah. I think every single playable character is here. Wallace, Nails, Marcus, Lowen, Bartragi, Oswin, Priscilla, Raven. That's Carla. Yeah, this is an old video, I know. But it's really well made. There's Ninian. An Athos. There's Luis. Harkin, my man. Is that Isadora? There's Penton Luis. Sonia. Vida. Aw, oh, Sephiel and Guinevere. The Black Fang looking good. Really well done. Really well done. The creator of this video is called Danny Rico. I'll link it in chat to give credit. Like so. Really well, really well made video. Anyway, uh, let's get the... Uh Get the war monk in there. What was the rest of the video? I don't know. Other things, I guess. Check Discord, says Hanako. I know why creative keeps appearing. I know there's a fix. I can I think I I think I know, Hanako. I think I know. I, I'm pretty sure I know why why it keeps happening. Yep, I see. I see the I see the code. I see the problem with the code. Yep, I see it. I see it. I see it, Hanako. I see it, Hanako. I've gotten so adept at reading code right now, I, I immediately saw what, what was wrong. There we go. And... Boosh! There we go! I fixed your little code problem. Boosh! -a. I do need to restart the ROM now. Okay! So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the first round of, uh, first round. What did you actually do? So, there's something called conditionals and labels, and basically, 
whoever created the last few labels, I just copy pasted the same label. So instead of, so there was a creative had about seven different labels attached to him, whereas those six other labels should have gone to other gladiators. So instead of having any of these gladiators here speak, creative would speak because he had the same label copy pasted. So all I did was just change that label so that each of these gladiators get their own labels. That's, that, that, that was the problem. It's a classic coding error. Happens all the time. Anyway. Carla! An imposing woman with a chivalrous heart. A little too barbaric. Uh, she has, yeah, we, we've seen her build. The Luna build. Brave Axe. Oh, we got two Axe users, though. Actually, more like an Axe versus a Light user. I don't know who's gonna win this. It depends on how tanky. If, if Delphine can get some soul procs up, maybe. Let's see. Karen Bayna says, you made Kesa's battle quote her description. Oh, I'm sorry. Teach me to code, daddy. Fucking hell. That was just, that was accidental. That was absolute. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now it works. Now it works. Now the gladiators in the bottom are talking to. Oh, sorry. Forgot about the music. Ooh, let's go! Delphine already procs an aura. There we go. Delphine fires back with another soul. With another soul. Healing herself up completely. Carla comes in, she has resolve now, so she will probably quad. Oh, Delphine is one damage off! She's one damage off! But Carla doesn't quad because of Wary Fighter! Oh, Del- No! You popped the vulnerary! No! Huge mistake! Huge mistake! No! <laughs> Oh no! Never, never buy Vulnerary! Biggest mistake of my life! <laughs> Not the Vulnerary! Rawr. But Delphine- Oh, that's a nasty crit! Oh! 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 Delphine fires back with an 80% crit! Let's go! 69- It's not enough? It's not enough, but it should be. Oh, but she's gonna drink a Vulnerary instead of fighting back. Oh no, she's gonna get cocked by the Vulnerary again. No, the Vulnerary! The Vulnerary! Oh no! The Vulnerary! The Vulnerary! <laughs> Never buy Vulnerary! Biggest mistake of my life! Oh no. Oh no, the vulnerary giveth, but mostly the vulnerary taketh. Wow. Well, oh, that was brutal. Carla goes on to the semifinals. Betrayed by her own vulnerary, where she will fight the winner of Creative and Cecily. There we go. All right. Negative versus Cecily, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Baron, the Chad Baron. The Chad Baron versus... The Axe Lord. 10 speed versus... 15 speed, so creative goes first. He's actually pretty fast for a Baron. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got negative, the tanky Baron. Also pretty fast though, with recklessness. 
Aegis, Ready Stance, Fortress Defense, and Insight. It's an armor fight, yes indeed, it's an armor fight. Creative has plenty of weapons, so I don't I don't think corrosion is really gonna matter much here, but Astra will probably matter. Alright. Oh I put creative instead of oh my god, sorry. I keep mixing them up. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Are we ready? Let's begin! Are you guys ready to get hype? You picked the wrong gladiator, fool! Negative opens up with a 22 damage Fimble Vader. Two armor chats going head to head right here. Nice build, Bozo. Cecily, five damage? Five damage? Oh, wow. That's not good. Oh my goodness, does she have a chance here? I don't think so. Oh, oh, that's a rough build. That's a rough build. Creative too strong, man. Creative just too strong. Wait, what's that? Did I give enough time? I did. Alright. Negative comes in again with the Fimble Vetter. But he has so much defense. But let's see. Let's see if she can proc Corrosion maybe? Kill the Fimble Vetter, Tom? This is a hard build. Okay, she procs Astra, but it's... Yeah, this is literally Senator Armstrong moment right here. <laughs> this is just hard to watch. Oh, okay. One Corrosion. So Corrosion can proc with Astra. I think that broke the Fimble Vetter Tome, but I don't think it really mattered. Yeah, definitely. Oh! Oh! Corrosion actually mattered a little bit. Corrosion actually mattered a little bit. She broke his Fimble better. But it's not enough, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, she does proc Astra, but it doesn't really matter because weapons can't break mid combat. So even if she procs Corrosion, it won't matter. The Elfire Tomos has 30 uses, so she needs two Corrosions to proc. So she does bring him fairly low. Oh, my. Actually. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. Yeah, she didn't deal enough damage, sadly. The build works in theory, but this was probably her worst opponent. Creative, ladies and gentlemen, goes on to face Carla in the semifinals. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, we have Patricius versus Kesa. Cat Girl versus, uh, who's Patricius again? I forgot. Uh, oh, Dreadfighter, 16 speed versus 27. Yeah, Cat Girl goes first here. Versus Patricius. Let's take a look at these two builds, shall we? We have the hyper aggressive cat girl right here versus the somewhat aggressive dread fighter. He has ether, so there's a chance he could win this, but he needs to survive two brave lance hits. And I think he has a sword equipped. No, he has a thunder tome equipped. 
Oh, I think this might- this one might go to Kesa. This one might go to Kesa, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin! 79% uh, voting for Kesa. Okay, let's go. Wish I could at least see the fight. Oh, it's a crit right off the bat! Oh my goodness, this count girl doesn't chill. Oh my goodness, this count girl just does not chill. Holy shit, her damage is insane. He needs to not get crit twice in order to have even a chance of fighting back against this. 61 crit, oh my goodness. All right, here comes Kesa, and it's not a crit, and it's a crit. Oh my goodness, what a fucking build. What a build! He's fucking murdered him, nya nya. Kesa goes on to the semifinals, ladies and gentlemen. That was a sweep. That was a sweep. Where she will face the winner of Boulder and Frey. <laughs> I'm never. I don't think I've ever seen a gladiator kill their opponents quite like that since Hanako Sniper. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Boulder versus Frey, Cyclops versus Swordmaster. This one could be nasty. 10 speed versus. Yeah, 28 speed. <laughs> Ooh, this one I think is gonna be tough. I think this one's gonna be tough for the Cyclops. So we got a Swordmaster with 28 speed right here against a Cyclop with a little luck, granted, and Wrath, and Wary Fighter, I'll give him that, but he'll still take two hits, though. He won't be crit, though, necessarily, I think. Sixty-seven percent believe in the boulder. Let's go. Alright, free charges in. Let's go. Oh, it's a crit right off the bat! 87 damage? What? Whoa! Holy shit! Can he even live through that? Let's go, second time. Was, what, what, what was that, a 14% crit? Okay, she didn't get it this time. All right, 20, my goodness, she hits hard. But he fires back pretty hard too, Boulder, nice. Oh my God, he's an accurate guy. Holy shit, he'll kill her, I think. Oh, let's go! Oh, he bonks her! He just needs to not get crit. My, my, his accuracy is insane. Is it Axe Faith? It's Axe Faith, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Whoa. Let's go. Round three, let's see who wins. Will she get another low percentage crit? Or will Boulder Bunker? And it's not a crit. And it's not a crit! I think Boulder wins this! I think, unless he misses. Unless he misses. I think Boulder takes this, ladies and gentlemen. 
There we go. Mmm. Swordmaster gets knocked out, ladies and gentlemen. And Boulder goes on to the semifinals, where he will face a cat girl. Oh boy. How will this go? Damn. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. We have now entered the semi-finals. Uh, Corolla takes on Negative. And Kesa takes on the Boulder. Let me read some donations in case I missed them. All right, the Great Raijin donated two bucks to Super Shot. Next, gar next week will be full of Hoplon guards. The meta always changes depending on what's good. Karen Bain donated one ninety nine. You made Kisa battle quote. Yeah, we'll fix that. Kiryu donated one ninety nine. Is there a limit to video length for memes? Ah, uh, not really. But if it's like. Anything over like a minute better be good. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, if you expect me and the entire stream to sit through a video, then it better be really good. Uh, if it sucks, then I'll probably stop watching after 30 seconds. I'm sorry, I just don't like wasting my audience's time, you know? What is an Anubin donated five bucks? Missed like half of the oh, hour because I was scripting a custom banana. Seeing, seems I during the time to watch a curbstone. Oh, this was an older one. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Carla versus negative. I am pretty sure negative outspeeds Carla actually. 20 speed versus 18 speed. Yeah, he does. He definitely does. All right, tank versus aggression, ladies and gentlemen. Tank versus aggression. Who will win out? We got creative, the Giga Chat Baron, 20 defense, and some decent damage output as well. His Aegis hasn't proc once this entire matchup, I think. He's up against a very, oh, Luna could be very big here, though. Luna could be very big here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the first battle of the semi-finals. Uh, Let us go. Seventy one percent of chat is voting for creative. Will it be an arrow victory? Who knows? Creative starts off the battle here. Sorry, negative, I keep mixing them up. Fire yourself a Fimble Vetter against Carla. Not enough to knock her into resolve range. Carla charges in. Wah! Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Why would you, Why is she using the Steel Axe? What? What? Why? Why do you have a Steel Axe? What? <laughs> why? Why? It deals one more damage, are you shitting me? <laughs> AI so dumb! Why would you even buy a st Why would you buy a steel axe? Oh my goodness. AI is the future, the AI. Wow. Oh my god. Why? Why are you using a steel axe? Oh my god, this is terrible. Well. Negative goes on to the finale, a baron in the finale, ladies and gentlemen.
And up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have a boulder versus a cat girl. Let's go. I don't know who's gonna win this one. Alright. So, we got... Kesa with 27 speed. Yeah, she definitely goes first. There's no denying that. But is she going to be able to crit the Lucky Cyclops? He has 30 luck. So that's 30% less, less crit avoid. Or less chance to get crit. Man. Ooh. I agree. That's a perfect that's a perfect track to add to my uh There's a track I'd like to add to my playlists. I think you guys know. Why can I not add this? Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. Manx, would you put me my music in your playlist? If it's if it fits, sure. Ephraim, send me a couple of tracks to add to the playlists, and if I like them, I'll add them. If I think they're they fit the arena, I can add them. I know you make good music, so. Anyway, Boulder versus Kesa. If Kesa can just crit him, she wins, I think. But he has thirty luck. He has thirty luck. So. I really don't know. Kesa has like 50 to 60 credit on initiation. Boulder has 30 luck though, so. It's um it's difficult to say who's gonna win this. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready! Round one fight! Hopefully not. All right, nya nya, cat girl charges in. Not a crits. Not a crits. Boulder fires back with the brave. I think he just kills her. I think he just kills her now. Yep. Cat girl smash. Mmm, cat girl smash. All right then. Not looking good for Cat Girl at the moment. Not looking good for the Cat Girl right now. Oh, is she gonna crit? Is she gonna crit? No, she doesn't crit. Boulder sweeps. Boulder sweeps. Oh boy. Oh, she doesn't win even with a crit? Wow. Smashed, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely smashed. Boulder goes on to fight negative in the finale, ladies and gentlemen. This was a 50-50 crowd, crowd vote, too. So it's either gonna be negative or bolder going to the Grand Melee here, ladies and gentlemen. But first... Let's watch some memes, shall we? Uh, does not have any music, I swear. Okay, alright.
Uh, you can't, Lavadik, you can't send me movies. You have to upload them as an unlisted YouTube video and send them to me. Uh, Brandon Williams, I gotta be completely honest, I don't care about Mario memes. I'm gonna be, like, I, you sent me, like, a bunch of Mario memes. I really, like, I'm gonna say, say right now, I don't give a shit about Mario. I don't, like, I'm sorry, I'm not a Mario fan. So I'm gonna ignore your memes, because, like, I just, I don't know, I'm not a Mario fan. Sorry if that makes me uncultured. They're not- they're, they're also not, like, thematic to the stream. It's, like, just a bunch of other memes. I like it more when memes are created for the stream, in particular. Now, you can make Mario memes that are stream-relevant. That's okay with me. And, Kwon Dong Dong, again, you're sending me a- you're sending me a video. I can't view videos. You have to upload it as a YouTube video. Send me the link. And if you just send me a link, I'm probably not going to open it. I'm probably not going to open it, because I don't know what it is. Like, you've got to add a bit of description there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Check Discord again. Ah... Uh, Sorry, Alice. Not interested in watching videos right now. I'm, I'm not interested in watching a Fates video. I'm sorry. The Forgotten Pupil, Lahira. Wait, there was supposed to be another gladiator? Lahira? I don't remember anyone by that name. She gave no description. Oh, no! We forgot about the description! <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed in the arena. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> you see <laughs> so many vulnerary memes. What the fuck is this? Oh, the boulder! Let me fight you fair and square. Best we could do was double crit. Gaming recommendation. If you like, <laughs> you should try poison. <laughs> oh, that's real nice. <laughs> so many vulnerary memes. What the fuck? <laughs> so many kills with devil elixirs might be aware of my your tactics confuse and frighten me, sir. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dying immediately after using it. Uh, breathe in. Boy. Oh, these are cute. Look at these. Ah, oh, adorable. Mangstream bingo hard late. I'm colorblind. Pops up a Pepsi. Characters missing a skill. Chat making fun of Mang's double meaning sentence. So many memes. The emulator issued an error. Mang's making soy face and it's drawing. Mang's trash talking something. It's not copyright. I think all of those gets checked on a regular basis. Monaco after seeing cases sweep. Finally a worthy opponent. Our battle shall be legendary. I've only Bonaco won. Boulder feels confident about beating a young blind girl. The boulder is over his conflicted feelings. <laughs> boulder, are you sure about that? Uh, a gladiator with a good chance of winning. <laughs> boulder. Ah. <laughs> uh, Dependent with Gatry, now Bolter is my best friend. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ah!
it's time for the finale! Best of five! 16 gladiators came, only 14 gladiators remain. Let's get negative into the arena here. Let's take a look at these two builds, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, this is gonna be a best of five. We have, in the red trunks, we have Negative the Baron. Uh, he is reckless. He has Aegis, it won't matter. He has Insight, Fortress Defense, and Ready Stance. A, a Toxin Lance, an Elfire, and a Fimbleviter, and an Elixir. He is up against Boulder, the Cyclops, with Axe Fate, Wrath, Warding. Oh, Warding Blood's gonna be huge! Wary Fighter, Frenzy, and Thunderstorm. No idea who's gonna come out on top here. Maybe, maybe. I, I don't know, it's difficult to say. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the finale! Who will win? Let's get ready to rumble! Creative, sorry, negative, charged in! Charge us in! With his Fimble Vetter. Bringing Boulder to 52 health. Boulder charges back in. That warding blow makes a big difference, but he only deals 12 damage per hit, though. Negative fires back with a 3 damage Fimble Vetter. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. That's not a lot of damage at all. Negative fires with the Fimble Vetter. Can Boulder do anything here? Can he do anything here? He has Frenzy now. Oh! Oh, it's a crit! He kills negative! Ban this person for cheating! Let's go! Wow! He gets the crit and takes the battle 1 to 0. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's go again. Wrath. Saves the day. Negative goes up again. Hits him for 23 damage. Is this a guaranteed win for Boulder? It might be. Yeah, it might be because he doesn't bring negative low enough to pop his vulnerary. I don't think I think I think negative is not gonna win this one. Yeah, it's a 100% win. It's a 100% win, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think I don't think there's any way negative can beat him. No, nope. 19 times two. It's too much. He brings negative down. But just for good measure, we'll play out the last fight, even though it doesn't matter. We have to, we have to give him the victory lap. But yeah, it creative doesn't negative doesn't have any proc skills, and that ended up being his downfall in this particular build. And Boulder just had the perfect tool to take him out. So we have a Cyclop winning. Take your victory lap, Boulder. Negative has been cracked. He, he has no chance here. No chance to crit. No proc skills. This ended up being a very good build. If Boulder just had dealt a little bit more damage to negative, he would have run back and popped a, a, an elixir and probably won. Warding Blow is good, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the crit to end the match! Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. 
Boulder wins. Uh, you are the champion of the fifth round. Uh, well played. Good build. Nicely done. Nicely done. We need the creative to avenge his brother. All right, let's do a uh, let's let's see if let's see if creative can take on his brother real quick. Just for fun. Bonus battle, let's go. Only one battle. Brother battle, let's go. Oh, what? Oh, whoops! <laughs> I put him in the wrong cap! Oh, Boulder! Don't kill the bystanders, Boulder! Boulder, no! Don't kill the bystanders! No, Boulder, Boulder! Don't do it! Oh, Creative doesn't want to fight. <laughs> creative doesn't want to fight. Oh, no, Creative refuses to fight back! No! No! It's complete chaos! No! Boulder is killing the gladiators on stage! No! <laughs> no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh! Oh, Boulder is attacking Boulder! No! Boulder wants to kill himself! No! <laughs> Boulder versus Boulder! The only one strong enough to take him on! The gladiators are rushing again. <laughs> yeah, Creative doesn't have an AI. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, that was actually really funny. <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do everyone versus Manx. And then we're gonna do the free-for-all. With the winner. Going on. Oh, whoops. Swing. Boulder wants to fight everyone. Everyone versus Boulder. And you'll get to see it during the free for all. All right, so the winner of this free for all, as I said, will go on. To, uh, to the Grand Melee, or we'll go on to the Grand Free-For-All against the other ones. But first, we're gonna see if these gladiators have what it takes to kill me. Players yourself, not AI. Uh, I don't think I got buffed, we'll see. Guys, Hedge, stop yelling commands and like this. Okay, this is actually like one thing I that I really don't like. I'm just gonna say it right now. When people go, do this, do that, come on, do like stop shouting in caps. Come on, I get that you're excited, but like it's incredibly rude. Just like don't tag me and type in caps. Like don't, don't. No one likes a backseat gamer. No one likes a backseat gamer ever. Don't do it. It's annoying. <laughs> Shut up, Monica. They're gonna do it twice as much now? Probably. I'm just boosting engagement. Alright. Oh, look, it's a perfect circle. Well, minus the summon, sadly. No, I'm not doing any more custom battles now, guys. We're asking by yelling politely. Mang show feet. All right. Let us see, ladies and gentlemen, if the gladiator, this week's gladiator, has what it takes to take on Mangsy Pangsy. Sorry you seem to see caps better. Love you, Egg. Aw, that's nice.
I did make a safe state, don't worry about it. Huh? What? Oh, I think I know what is happening here. I think we've hit the green unit limit. Yeah, we've hit the green unit limit. We've hit the green unit limit. I can play as myself? Sure. Okay. Alright! Okay! <laughs> no AI mangs for this one. I get to choose so I Oh, what's this? Egg. Cool. Can I use it? No, I can't. I can't use it. Alright, who should I kill? Uh, who should I kill? Uh, let's go with... Uh, who's the scariest person here? You know what? I'm gonna go for the champion. But I don't double though. That's fine. Bye, boulder. Hey, I'm smart now. What? Wait, oh, I turned red. Sorry. Oh my goodness. I gotta actually, I gotta skip. I gotta skip past this. This is incredibly dumb. Uh, let's go with uh, turn 51. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I better get a Colossus this time. I better get a fucking Colossus. Fuck! I didn't get- Oh no. Ow. Ow. No Colossus? Why not? Oh my god, these gladiators deals like crap ton of damage. What the fuck? Oh, I don't kill? Oh no, oh, it's a backfire. Why do they always backfire when they deal no damage? Yeah, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I am le fucked. Yeah, these gladiators are strong. They're very strong. Oh, nice. They're all bunching up. Nice. Get fucked, negative. Ten damage? Oh, no. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. No, stop Colossusing. You're just gonna open yourself up to more attacks. Ha! Two damage. Easy. Easy. Oh, no! <laughs> Deals one damage. Okay. Oh, are they gonna do it? Are they gonna do it? Oh, nice backfire. Oh no, stop rocking Colossus! Colossus is actually a detriment right now. I might be able to survive this though, maybe. Stop killing people, just stop it. Oh, what? Oh, cool miracle. Nice, nice. I don't think this does damage. No, it doesn't. Just don't proc, don't proc Colossus. Do not proc Colossus. No, don't crit! No! Okay, who's gonna come in now? Four damage, this is fine. Okay, don't kill, don't kill. No, stop it! Oh, nice, expertise. Okay, only one more attack now. Aw, oh, seven damage. Seven damage, this is it. It could backfire though, maybe. No. Aw, oh, sad music. Alright, ladies and gentlemen.
Ladies and gentlemen. No, thank you. It is time for... The final battle. Not the one I wanted. It's time for the free throw! Oh! Oh no! Negative kills the dog! Nicole goes for Pit Daddy. Oh, he crits back! Oh boy. Nicole gets knocked out of the Royal Rumble. Bad target. Bad target. You shouldn't have shot someone who could fire back. It's a bad idea. 15 gladiators remain. Oh, here we go. Here comes Frey. Oh, she's just gonna murder this guy. Bonk. Your wife's boyfriend will not avenge you. Okay, we're down to 14 gladiators. Anti-ranged, let's go! Oh god, you're not anti-brave sword though, sadly. Oh, nice, not bad. I like that there's a little parry sound when she... But she deals no damage back. Romina has too much rest. I think Romina's warding blow. Fall before the might of House Tapisha. Matias comes in 37% chance to hit though. He misses. Oh, Dress is gonna heal herself up again. Oh, that rune sword's probably gonna break though. That's like the one weakness I can see you having. Up, let get down, let get. All right, Shanty Pete versus Patricius. Is he gonna crit? Yes, he crits. He takes out Patricius. Thirteen gladiators remain. Thirteen gladiators remain. Oh, in comes the champion. In comes Boulder, he wants to snack on a Swordmaster. Oh, that's a perfect kill, I think. Yes, it is! Twelve gladiators remain! Is Boulder going to take the free-for-all as well as the champion? Who knows? Alright, here we go. Oh, does she have Corrosion? In oh, I think the Rune Sword build might be done for. No! This just won't be hit! She heals herself back up with the rune sword. There we go. Delphine. Wants a revenge against the cat girl. Wait, did she ever fight the fat cat girl? I don't think the fat girl. The fat girl. The cat girl. I can be a rod all day. Well, until your rune sword breaks, that is. Is she going to double Matthias? Matthias goes down. 11 gladiators remain. Who is gonna attack the next one? In comes Carla. Oh, she's angry at the cat girl. Oh, she takes down the cat girl. Cat girl goes down. No cat girls allowed in this arena. In comes Sev. He wants to dice himself a berserker, but it's not gonna kill unless he quads, which he might do. Hey, Carla's using her Brave Axe. That's nice. Sev takes up Carla. Alright, we got the Gorgon left. Shriek. Who's Shrieker gonna go for? 
Shrieker attacks the Great Lord, Cecily. Alright, just gonna hit her with an Osferatu. No doubling here. Alright, we go on to the next turn, ladies and gentlemen. Negative decides to attack Frey. Kits Frey with the Fimbo Vetter. Not gonna be enough to kill, though. I feel like Frey is gonna get murdered now. No, Frey decides she wants to take Sev down with her. Oh, here we go! <laughs> oh! She takes Sev out. Probably before someone takes her out. In comes Romina. Oh, that's gonna be the end of Frey, I think. Bonk. Bye-bye, Frey. Nerd. We are down to seven gladiators. Boulder! Is he going to be able to kill the Rune Sword Assassin? Yes, he takes down Dress. He takes down Dress. Ladies and gentlemen, six gladiators remain. Cecily goes for Romina. I don't know if this is a good idea. Romina's gonna hit fire back pretty hard. Oh, Cecily goes out. Five gladiators remain. No one wants to go for Boulder. He might just end up winning this. No, never mind. As I say that. Oh, he's so tanky though. Delphine takes him out with an aura. And Shrieker is probably going to finish Romina. Nope, actually, will not. Might actually get killed. Might actually get killed. But Romina does not crit. Oh, but she doubles. Not a crit, though. Oh, but she misses the aura. Alright. There's three monsters remaining. Five gladiators in total. Boulder might just win this. Negative. Takes out Romina. Romina goes out. We got four gladiators left. Boulder. He's gonna dice himself some Gorgon. Smash! Smash! We are down to three. Boulder. Delphine! And negative. But now it seems like they're willing, they're gonna fight, they're gonna focus down Boulder now. Is it going to be a rematch? I don't think so. I think it's gonna come down to negative versus Delphine. Yep, they're both ganging up on the champion now. Fimbulvetter goes in. Boulder goes down to 16. Uh, Delphine is no, no, oh, but Boulder decides to fire back a little bit. Oh, 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 the warding blow! The warding blow, he takes no damage back! He takes no damage back! I think Negative's gonna take this. I think Negative's gonna take this. Because Delphine just took out Boulder, and then Negative's probably gonna take out Delphine. Alright, who's gonna fire first, though? Oh, one that is what exact damage. Delphine had a very good chance. Negative wins. The free for all, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, that was... Stop it. So, the champion of this round is... Boulder. Who joins the podium with the other champions. And... Negative goes down 
with the rest of the free-for-all winners. He joins Nero, Arena, Wolin, Bobby, and Negative. Yeah, we did. We, we sadly didn't get cat girl. Was doesn't it say he hates cat girls? Yeah, it. Imagine if he had faced the cat girl in the final battle. I can't do you versus Alice, uh, Hanako, because you're green and you don't have AI. I can't. You don't have AI. And Alice, yeah, Alice is part of that too. We gotta remove one of the. We're probably gonna have to return Creative Red, I think, because uh, the green unit limit is 20. So just something to keep in mind. No, I'm not gonna. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do more custom battles. I'm, I'm, I'm tired, guys. Uh, I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a Q and A. Sorry, sorry. No more. No more custom battles. We'll be here all night. Whoa. Reintroduction as Manx. Does Astro allow each hit to produce lethality? I think so, because uh, because we saw corrosion proc during um, uh, we saw we saw um, we saw corrosion proccing during um, we saw corrosion proccing during Astra. So yeah, I think so. Rufrox asks Manx, will we get an updated version of the mod in there? Yes, yes, I will. I will put. I will put uh, the uh, the updated ROM in the in the ROM. Yeah, I will. JPEX asks, do we need to state if we do if we do not have a palette? I mean, if you don't put anything in, you'll get one. If you put your code in, you'll get that. It's that simple. Corkins asks, will more classes be added? Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. People are yelling memes. I uh, don't think there's that many memes left, guys. Oh, fuck. There's a million memes. Guys, why do you do this to me? All right. Fine. I will... I will... Watch your memes. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Lahira. Ah, so I, I picked you, but you didn't. Okay. Lahira, you will join next week. Okay? That is a promise, okay? Alice, if you're watching, we gotta add Lahira the Paladin. Apparently, I hoarded his comments, and he didn't get in. So, uh, so Alice, just be sure you remind me. We gotta, we gotta remember to put Lahira in next week, okay? Lahira, you will be put in next week. You will be put in next week, together with the hyper people. This is a this is a promise. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Let's see. I'll link the playlist I used in the video description. It's Alice's playlist. <laughs> Is this dead? Killing all red units, boulder. <laughs> Pummel this, you old fart. Grandfather, why would you do something like that? He's just a defenseless old man. Ah, Kaga dialogue. It's the best. <laughs> uh. Evil people with a very evil mission to kidnap cute little girls like you and take you far away on our evil ships. Grandfather, why would you do something? Kaga has a fascination with, like, girls being kidnapped and stuff. There's, like, a lot of dialogue. Kaga's got a bit of a dark side. I'm just gonna say this right now. Uh, he's got... There's a, there's a couple of recurring scenarios in most of the Kaga games that are kind of dark. I'm just gonna say it right now. There's a lot of like, ha ha ha, I'm gonna tie you up and make you my little slave. There's like a lot like, and I get it. Okay, there's evil people in the world. I get it, but you don't you don't have to be so graphic in your descriptions, you know. Uh, Ufas, Manx, what do you have planned for the two-week America trip? I'm gonna meet Cyan and Davis. Which I'm looking very forward to. I guess I'm gonna go shooting guns with Bethany's family. Um, 
gonna barbecue on the 4th of July, gonna see the, hot, the, the Colorado Springs. It's my first trip to America, so I'm very excited. Uh, also, someone sent me... A, it's a 10-second long video. I can watch that. I can watch that. 10-second long video is fine. Hi, Leanne. Want to be dominated? We'll dominate you. We'll ask you to be gentle. <laughs> Will you survive? <laughs> that's good. That's good. Oh, that's a great meme. <laughs> that's good with the Black Knight theme. That's good. Oh, that's good. That's a good shit post. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Freeman ass. <laughs> uh. Someone asked me, why do you like Ishtar so much? Why do I like Ishtar so much? Why do I like Ishtar so much? Why do I like Ishtar? Like, why do I even need to answer that? I mean, I know this is her quote-unquote heroes design, and heroes is not representative necessarily of their art, but like, this is an amazing design. I mean, have we ever seen a design, like, have we ever seen a design like this in Fire Emblem? I, like, she's so memorable. She stands out so much. I think she is legitimately one of the best designed characters in Fire Emblem. She has, like, one of the most striking designs I've ever seen. She's hot. Oh, she has a teddy bear. That's cute. She's hot, but she's not, like, like overly slutty. I like her character arc. I don't know. I just, I think Ishtar has, like, one of the absolute best designs in Fire Emblem. Like, how can you not like this? Uh, and also, like, her regular art is really fire as well. And her cipher art is great, too. Uh, Elka Shadow asks, Max, will you pick classes that won the free-for-all for the tournaments? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought that far ahead. I guess if we get a duplicate class, it's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll still I'll still pick Dread Fighters and whatnot. I already have, so if we get a couple duplicate classes in the finale, it's not a big deal to me. Uh, Mangs, if I have ten apples and I have five, shut up. Karen asks, Mang, sad that we got no Kaisa versus negative because of overstated Cyclops. I don't think he was overstated. I don't think uh, uh, I don't I don't know if I'd I, uh, I, this guy doesn't have higher stats, necessarily, than the other gladiators. He has a lot of HP. He has luck. Kinda was, really? But we nerfed him, even. We nerfed Cyclops before the stream. I don't know, man. They're Berserkers without, without the 15 cred, I guess. 15 defense, 75 HP. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Arthur asks, biggest struggle you faced over Umbaran Saga development? Getting other people to do shit. <laughs> Pusslock asks, will you add Ascor's theme from Underdale in your music list? Ask Alice. Alice is the one making the playlist. I can't add unit I can't add music to it. Will we ever get a cooking video? Uh maybe. Until Andron Saga gets released, there's not that much else I can do. Uh, I've thought about adding a wild card for these matches. How would that even work? Wild card? Like a random gladiator? I don't know. I don't know what that even means. Yeah, Max, when will you do next to Fire Emblem PMU? Would you choose units from the comments of the vaults as well? I might. I haven't decided yet. All I know is that the winner of this entire is going to be the main character in the next PMU. That's as far as forward as I've thought about it for now. Uh, Miguel Kulis asks, Max, can I use my, can I use my unit? I, sorry, that, that vanished too quickly. Is there a Discord for people to join? Uh, there is an Andron Saga Discord. I'll plug it right now. Um, but it's not open yet. It's still closed, but we have an Andron Saga Discord. I'll share the link in, uh, I'll share the link in chat. It's gonna be closed for a little bit. You can, you can still join it. But here you go, guys. Here's the Discord. If you want to join it. I'm not in it. But it's run by my friends. 
but uh, you can join that. It'll open up when the game is closer to being released. Yeah, and you can you can uh, send the custom animations to Alice, by the way. Uh, Gmail is in the Google Doc, so just check that out. All right, three more questions, then I'm heading off. Honor class loser's bracket? Ah, there's already so much. That would add so much length to the streams, but yeah. We could we could think about something like that. Vostia's gun video when you go to America. Sadly, that goes against YouTube's terms of service. They don't like guns. So, I don't want to risk it. Because YouTube's are fucking cowardly. Devadiki asks, are you adding me next week too, like you said? Wait, did I did I actually like heart your comment? If I hearted your comment and didn't add you, I'm definitely adding you next week, but um You'll need to you'll need to send me a screenshot. If I fuck if I fucked up and hearted your comment and forgot to put you in, then I'll definitely put you in next week. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, did you end up going with the original ending from Andalon Saga? No, but there is a bad ending that you can get. I won't say anything more than that. Alright, Big Taste asks, what's your opinion on Gaiden, the Gaiden of FE7 28X? Do you think it's worse than the FE6 Gaiden 28X? Which one's that? Is that, uh, is that the Berserker or is it Sands of Time? 28X, which one is that? Is that the Water Temple? Oh, I fucking hate the Water Temple. It's cancer. Story-wise, it's a cool chapter, but but uh, the the Night of Wells. Yeah, I don't like Night of Wells. It's a bad chapter. Water Temple is a frustrating gimmick. No one likes Water Temple. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see if I've gotten any donations. The last rebel donated five bucks. I still need to fight Firelands. Like he he needs to pay, or Hanukkah can do it for me. Um, next stream, next stream, we can we can watch you beat up Firelands. Fear Guide to Foot Finishes from 4chan. I love Boulder, my bulky brawny behemoth who bought it that boneheaded bloke barling blistery blizzards with a brave axe. <laughs> Joseph Connor donated five bucks. Hey, Manx, I've always enjoyed your content. I've lurked in the streams forever. So here, take my McDonald's money. Ah, oh, thank you, Con. Thank you, Joseph Connor. I love you. I love. I would love to take your McDonald's money. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am exhausted. Thank you so much. This has been a magnificent stream. Congratulations to the winner. Thank you, contestants. Oh, Noel donated 20 bucks. Q&A's, Ken Mengs, can you give Bobby the Skeleton a medal? He deserves one. There you go. Uh, no vantage as of yet. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. Bye.